The five emerging economies known as BRICS are about to kick off their annual summit in Brazil. The nations are set to approve a 100 billion U.S. dollar reserve fund and a 50 billion dollar development bank. CCTV's Paulo Cabral previews the upcoming event. Their excellencies, the prime minister. Last year, the BRICS nations completed their first cycle of summits. The meetings have now taken place in all five member nations, Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa. Now the summit returns to Brazil. Leaders will come to the Ceará Convention Center in Fortaleza, hoping that decisions made here and in Brasilia, especially the creation of a new BRICS development bank, will help to strengthen the institutional ties between the world's top emerging economies. A BRICS development bank could provide developing nations an alternative source of funding to the World Bank and the IMF. The five BRICS nations account for more than a quarter of the world's land mass and nearly half its population. According to World Trade Organization data, BRICS exports grew five-fold between 2001 and 2011, more than double the world average. BRIC was a term coined in 2001 by Goldman Sachs economist Jim O'Neill. It referred to a group of countries with potential to lead global economic growth over the long term. In 2010, South Africa joined the group to form BRICS. It's a diverse group of countries with many differences in style and opinion. But analysts say that their common interests could take this partnership to the pinnacle of the world economy. It is true that in many cases they disagree on big political questions like UN Security Council reform, for example. But I think that they, in one way, in a very important way, they do have a very similar objective, which is to uh, perhaps reduce uh, U.S. political dominance in international affairs. So I think they have a common objective. Uh, and I think the fact that they're able to build a development bank now uh, shows that they're quite serious about this endeavor and uh, show a willingness also to work together in the long term. The growth of the Chinese economy over the past decade not only helped other developing countries boost their economic power and influence. Many economists credit China for being the economic engine that helped pull the world's developed economies out of one of the deepest recessions in the past hundred years. Paulo Cabral, CCTV, Fortaleza, Brazil.